What's up? Welcome. Welcome to this new stream. It's Wednesday already. Crazy, right? It's Wednesday. I have to put that back. And yeah, one of my lights was like kind of... Hi, Jay. One of my lights was kind of... Uh, not broken, but the frame was kind of broken. And I fixed it yesterday. This is really nice. I like it. I like it. I feel like it's like better now. Well, of course it is better. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you like maybe a video or short or something about that later. How I fixed it. I fixed it with some, with some wire I had. But I didn't have like plain wire. I just had wire like Christmassy wire with like stars on it. So <laughs> it has some stars on the back now. But uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you later. Let's put on the wristband. Okay, the hi Tyler, good morning. So let's do uh let's uh let's first of all do the instagram story i have to i have to copy i have to copy the link buenas pep que tal go to canal live compartir si sí, compartelo compartir el directo oh it's so hot already So live now. So, let's go. So, let's have our tea. And while I have my tea, I'm going to explain what's going to happen today. Uh, today is... Uh, core and legs or core and lower body we're gonna do half an hour of cardio like we did the past couple of weeks almost because we need some more time working with the dumbbells right that's why we don't do one hour of cardio at the moment but we might be going back to that so so we're gonna do that half an hour of cardio we might be using the dumbbells during the cardio session, even maybe the, the heavy dumbbells, maybe even light dumbbells, we'll see about that. Probably the heavy ones. So have a set of dumbbells at hand, minus six kilogram each, uh, but you can go lower, you can go higher. Whatever you have, it's okay. Keep enjoying your tea. Yummy. Ah. 
fire. Okay, one second. Okay. Uh, let's start with a quick warm up, right? We're stepping from side to side here. Whew. Getting warm. Well, I'm already warm because it's like it's so warm already. I don't know the temperatures, but I think it's probably about 30 degrees already. At least in here. In here, it's very hot. Like this room is. I think it's the hottest room in the in the uh, you know apartment. My old office was the coldest room. My new office is the hottest. And high knees. Ooh. Up and up. My quads are still kind of sore from Monday, I think. Maybe. Probably. Not super sore, but like if I stretch them a lot, I do feel them more than I usually feel them. Up and up. And now bum kick. So bring those heels to the bum here. Boop. 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 Then march in place and roll those shoulders back and back and to the front. And yeah, today we're not going to do um, a lot of arms. We're going to do some push-ups, of course, during the uh, warm-up. Warm-up during the cardio session. Let's rotate those arms. But yeah, not much more. Maybe, I think one set of pull-ups probably. Swing them in front of your body like that. Oh, I have to like... Uh, oh, that fell down. I don't want that to fall down. In there. In it goes. Ah, oh, my neck is itchy. Why is it itchy? Probably cat hair. Probably cat hair. Circle those first. While I keep, while you keep marching. The other way around. Wide stand. And lean forward. Ah. Shift one hip up and then the other. One and the other. Stretching those inner thighs. Then one knee and the other. And keep switching it. If you cannot have your hands on the floor, maybe you have to get those legs wider apart. Or you could be up here as well, right? Fine too, but yeah, I would prefer you to be down there. Now both legs up and down. Now if you can, bring your elbows to the mat or even your head. And if you can, Hold on to those ankles. A nice stretch for the posterior part of your leg. You can like move back and forth, gen forth gently here, right? A bit. Hands down. Let's turn, let's turn to one side. Into a deep lunge. And bounce a little bit here, begin as rebotes, little pulses. And switch legs. I still know. Woo! I'm doing good, I'm doing good. Let's come into down dog, arms aligned with our back if we can, legs straight ideally and maybe we get those heels off the floor, if not, doesn't matter, and up and down with those heels. I'm good, I still feel my quads from, from Monday I think, but yeah, I'm ready to, to work again, to work out again. Up, and up, and now, plank, and down dog. This is a really nice move to stretch and to strengthen ourselves. And always remember, when you're in a plank, you try to create a straight line from heel to shoulders. A few more. Mm. 
walk in, roll up, circle your head to one side, to the other, arms out, rotating through those elbows, and the other way around. Woo. Shake it out. Walk on two step tap, right? Don't stop at least and have something to drink before we start with a cardio pass. Are you ready for the cardio part 30 minutes right just 30 minutes so let's just do this here we have the cardio and i'm gonna <clears throat> stop the timer here three two one let's go there we start and as always hi richard good morning we start with an easy peasy <clears throat> march in place oh i have something in my throat again that's like <coughs> from the tea it was like when i drink a little bit the little rest of the tea there's like some stuff on the on the ground of the the cup <coughs> Smart. I want to know. I want to know. Now you can come into wide stance already for the next exercise. And we reach up, down, and back. Up, down, and back. This is a still kind of a warm-up and stretchy move, right? And if you don't, if you cannot touch the ground here, don't worry. You don't have to. You just have to reach for it and reach back. Right? Up, middle, back. Up, down back up down back and i want you to keep moving here right at all times throughout those 30 minutes if you feel like something is too hard as always you can come back to a step tap to a march in place something easy but keep moving don't just sit down and do nothing uh because yeah this is a slow cardio session it's not high impact so no real breaks here up, up. Up, down, down. So, reverse lunges. So, you stand here, step back, tuck the back heel, right? Don't have it like this. Tuck, down, and back up. The important thing is to have that back heel tucked. You don't have to go super low as long as you tuck that back heel. Down, and up. And no need to rush anything. We do it really slow here, right? Slow cardio, slow and relaxed. Whew. Whew. Down and up. Down and up. Whew. Whew. And up. The next thing we're going to do is single leg we're going to go back with one leg oh i'm going to show you we do everything on one side so up back into the lunge lunge and up again right on one leg the whole minute and then we do 
the other side. Nice and controlled here. If you have to hold on, on, on to anything, something, whatever, uh, to keep your balance, you can do that, but maybe try to do it without holding on to anything. Um, and rather do it slow, just like really slow. No need to do it fast, there's no certain number of reps that you have to do. You can always go at your pace. That's how we're doing this for one minute each exercise, so that you can choose at what speed you're doing it. Woo! Few more. One more. Woo! At this side. One. This is gonna be. This is gonna be harder. Up and down. And as before, with the lunge, I want you to tuck that back heel. Thank you, Richie. Tuck the back heel. Don't push it out. This is wrong. This is the correct positioning, right? Because you want to work the right muscles. And up. Pinky is here now. I just vacuum cleaned this morning again to get her hair. To like get rid of her hair. Now she's going to leave it everywhere again. <laughs> Ooh. Almost through with this one. 15 seconds to go. And we switch. Ooh. 10 seconds. Up and down. Up and down. Now, come to the end of the mat. We lean forward. Then we either step to the front. We come up, down, step, and we walk back. This would be the low impact version or the high impact alternative would be to walk out, jump, up, down, jump back, and walk out. And this is a good exercise that you can actually try to do the high impact alternative because it's really just a, a small part of the whole exercise, right? Totally doable. <laughs> Next thing is shoulder tap. So you come out here into that plank. Everything is nice and engaged. Maybe have your feet a bit wider apart and then tap one shoulder and the other. And I don't want you to do this. This is wrong. We want to keep that midsection of the body as unmoving as we can. If you wiggle too much, Get those feet further apart. Then you'll be able to stabilize better. So make sure not to move through your midsection. You're just tapping the shoulder, moving the arms. This is a full body exercise. You're engaging everything here to keep that straight line at all times. Up, up. About 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Down dog to plank. All right, we did that during the warm up. We're gonna do it now. Important here is to have those arms straight. When you're in the down dog, pushing the shoulders down, aligning the arms with your back to one straight line. If you can, I have those legs straight as well at all times. If you have to bend them in the down dog, it's okay, but I would rather want you to try to have them straight so that you stretch them a little bit. And yeah, you could bring those heels to the floor, but that's really not important right now uh, because you want to like switch from exercise to exercise here. So yeah, first of all, get those legs straight, have the back straight, and then you can think about those heels. And again, you can go fast, you can go slow. Adjust the workout to your needs, to your fitness level, to your daily form. And come up here and tap the foot with the opposite hand. And if you quite don't quite get there, don't worry. You could just do this. 
tap and tap tap and tap oh guys it's so hot i'm so sweaty already Woo! i love it love it up and up twist and twist let's twist again like we did last summer <sighs> bam, bam. <sighs> 15 seconds then we're gonna go back to the mat or back onto the mat and we're gonna do down dog push-ups bound down dog to push-up <sighs> tap 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 and tap so we do a down dog and then a push-up if you don't know how to do a push-up a push-up is basically a moving plank so if it's too hard for you, you could do it on your knees then it's still a plank right like this or you just hold this position the high plank while i do the push-up many ways to adjust that workout to your body keep breathing oh Oh, Mouty! Oh, woohoo! Ba bam, ba -da bam, down. Ah. Few more seconds, and we get up again. Okay, and we get up. Arms up here and twist. Twist, twist. <sighs> keep breathing, keep smiling. After this, we're gonna make a, we're gonna have one minute of like marching or jogging in place, whatever you want to do to hydrate. And then we're gonna grab those dumbbells. So one dumbbell. <sighs> My dumbbell is, the dumbbell I'm gonna use is six kilograms. You can go heavier if you're working out arms with dumbbells a lot you can go lighter four kilograms two kilograms will totally do just the water bottle will do right you don't need any props you could just yeah use water bottles <sighs> instead <sighs> keep pushing move i'm dripping with sweat already it's so crazy it's so hot yesterday when i was streaming i was sweating a lot as well when i was streaming on twitch gaming martin plays come Get your drink and march. Ugh. So, so sweaty. Once you're done drinking, you can, you could uh, run. You could run instead of just march, right? And we are almost 12 minutes into the cardio session. So just about 18 minutes to go. Well, that's not much, right? Remember these times when we always did one hour of cardio? They cut, gotta come back, maybe next week already. Grab your dumbbell, grab your dumbbell and to do a curl and a shoulder press on one side. Curl and a shoulder press. Try not to use too much momentum. A little bit is okay, right? A little bit is okay, but not too much. And don't wiggle. If you feel like you're wiggling a lot, then I rather want you to uh, grab lighter weights, right? And yeah, nice and controlled. No need to rush this. And the down motion should be controlled as well. All the gravity is pulling us down there. There's no need to give in and just drop the arm. We want to go down smoothly. Up and down. Almost done. About five seconds. And then we're going to switch sides now. Up and up. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? Feeling that in your shoulder and your biceps? 
I hope you do. Ah. Up. And up. Down. And up. Up. Down. And up. Well, other way around. No, I was down and I said up again. This always happens to me that I'm saying, oh, we're up now. And then, no, we're down. No, it's the other way around. It's the other way around. My mic, my, my mic, my the headphone in my left ear sounds weird again. I think it might just be broken, completely broken. Always has like these, uh, it's like uh, grizzly, it's a grizzly sound. I don't know. It's like making some weird background noises, some white noise. Three, two, one. Hold that like a goblet, right? Like that, and then. Squat and up. Goblet squats here. We don't have to go all the way down right now, right? Uh, this is more cardio session, so I mean, you could go all the way down, but you don't have to. You do that later on, right? Gotta work those legs. Knees align with your toes. Your back is hinging forward, weight is in the heels. And when we're up here, we squeeze those glutes. Oh, we do not lock the knees. Up and down and up. And the cats are fighting again. Why do you always have to fight, my babies? 15 seconds. Woo! And down and up. And up. We've got to drop the dumbbell after that. Well, no, don't drop it. Put it down gently. Put it down gently to the side. Make sure it's not moving and then we come to the end of the mat again walking out into plank and from here kind of into down dog tapping the opposite tapping that opposite shin the opposite toes but again just like with the down dog we try to have our back straight here right straight Straight. Up. And up. A few more here, then I'm gonna flip it around. Okay, let's flip it around and hollow hold to in in hollow hold and in a little bit of an ab workout here, right? We're gonna do more abs later on, but we can do some abs now, right? Out and in, out and in. Keep pushing, so close. Over halfway through, almost, almost 17 minutes in. Oh, I feel like I have a snotty nose. I don't know why. <coughs> weird at this time of the year with those temperatures 30 degrees 35 36 <sighs> out and in out and in out and in <sighs> and in the next thing we're gonna do is uh dips on the floor hands behind you arms up and then tiny dips here right Tiny dips, shoulders down, elbows go back. It's more like a, it's not like a complete dip, it's more like a dip pulse. But this is what makes it hard as well because the engaging the same muscles over and over again at a really fast pace. So, wow. I do feel these already. Whew, what a burn already. So funny because we do dips up on the rings, on the bars, but with those little dip pulses, they really get me. Down. 15 seconds, oh gosh, so long, so long. Oh, I want this to stop. Oh, no. Why are they so, why are these so hard? Three, two, one. And we get up here. Arms to the side. We do a squat and a twist. A squat 
And a twist on the other side, huh? Squat. Hi, Kimmel. Welcome. Whew. No, no, no. We're not. We're not. I wish. I always wanted to have a twin sister, but you know, I'm a cyborg. You know that. You know, I'm a cyborg. That's why. That's why. <laughs> Woo! And down. Twist. And down. And twist again. Like we did last summer. Down. And twist. Woo! Twist. Okay, now either twist march, right? Or twist jump with me. So, so sweaty already. Wow. I'm really kind of feeling those leg exercises today because, like I said, I still feel like my quads are kind of sore. So, wow. This will be hard. It will be hard. But, well, gonna be fun anyway. Anyway, fun anyway. Woo! The mat is so darn sweaty and wet already. When I'm jumping there in the middle, it's like I'm jumping in something wet. 12 seconds. Turn to the end of the mat. And now the low impact variation would be stepping back, stepping back. Maybe coming onto your knees, doing a push-up, up again, step, step, and the high impact variation is jumping back, push up, jump to the front, right? Woo! Back, push up, and to the front, Woo. down, push up. And jump. Let's jump again. <sighs> oh my. It's getting harder. It's getting hard. <sighs> ah. <laughs> next time, next step, we're gonna hydrate again. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. That was fast. So, march in place. And drink something. It's just your, it just your outfit if you have to. I'm so thirsty. I'm so thirsty. Well, what, can you see like how sweaty I am? I don't know. I think you can. I think you can see that. Mm. How are you doing, Kemal? Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, we jog, we jog in place <sighs> for the last 20 seconds here if you want to. You don't have to, right? You can always just keep it low impact as I already said, or if you feel like something is too hard, uh, then just uh, go back to marching in place and join back in when you can. Next thing is a pop squat. So, in a pop squat we're here. We pop and in. If you don't want to jump, you step out, step, step in. But if you feel like jumping with me, do this. This is really not a super intense, difficult, high impact exercise because we're always stopping in the middle. So yeah. Jump. Other side. And up. Woo. Up. And up. Keep pushing, about 10 seconds to go. And up, down, and up, and up. Plank pose. And we lift one leg up, and then the other. A nice full body exercise. 
also very good for glutes. Try not to come up here, right? Not this. This is a kind of weird down dog. We're in a plank and we're just lifting those legs in the plank. I know this is super hard. I'm suffering here. My bum is on fire, but it's just one minute. We can do it. Yes, we can. Up. 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 Oh, God. Guys. <laughs> just 10 seconds, then we're going to do something easier. I promise. Up. 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 Now, step forward walk to the front. Twist open. Down. Back. Other side. Right? So, more like a stretchy move. But try to stay low here. Right? To still engage your muscles properly. <sighs> so, lunge and twist one side. Plank, other side, lunge, twist, down, plank. About 20 seconds to go. And then we get up again. Woo! Hi, Agus, welcome. Up, down, back. Oh, yes. Not even 10 seconds. Then we get up. Okay, let's come up here and just high knees. You can do this high impact, but low impact is totally fine. Shake out those wrists, give them a little rest. After that, we're gonna do alternating side planks with a push up in between. So that's why I want you, yeah, to give this upper body those, uh, those wrists, the rest, shoulders. And then, yes, yeah, so you're gonna do a push up, a side plank, high side plank to one side, and then a side plank to the other side. <sighs> up, up, up. Smile, guys. Up, 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 up. <clears throat> my, my nose still feels snotty, I don't know why. <clears throat> One, okay, let's walk out. Plank, if you wanna do a push up, you do a push up. Then the side plank, back to the middle. Push up, side plank, other side. <clears throat> right, I want to do a fair amount of push ups here during the a cardio part because we're not going to do push-ups later on. We're not going to work those arms. Just going to do one or two sets of pull-ups because we have to. But apart from that, no arms. Oof. Down. Oof. Ten seconds. Ugh. Okay, we flip it around, we come into the reverse tabletop position, we tap the opposite foot with our arm, tap. Crab taps, I call them, with the leg of crab, because you're walking like a, like a crab here. <laughs> Keep breathing. I'm so out of breath already. Tap and tap. Tap and tap. For the next exercise, you're gonna grab those dumbbells again. Right? Gonna work those arms once more. Tap, 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 tap. Ten, nine, eight, let's go. So little left here. One. Okay, now grab the dumbbells, right? 
grab the dumbbells and we do the same thing we did before but both at a time now so we curl up shoulder press down and down. I'm gonna do a hammer curl this time it's gonna be a little bit easier <sighs> up down down oh guys oh this burns but it's a good thing right it's a good thing because if it burns we know it's working if you wobble too much if you like kipping back and forth like this then drop the weights and do it without weights or grab easier weights shaking is okay kipping not up down five seconds one more rep up Way to the side, way to the side, and the last minute here, butt kicks. Bring those heels to the butt. You could do this low impact like that if you don't want to go high impact. So close to the end, last minute here. So try to go high impact, right? If you don't want to do butt kicks high impact, jog in place gently. It's the last minute. If you don't have, uh, if your knees are not hurt, if you don't have knee injuries, or if you have no health issues that prevent you from doing something high impact. Go high impact for this one minute. For the last minute. Let's go. About 15 seconds. You can do that. Let's go guys. A little bit longer. And five, four, three, two, one. We made it, march in place. I'm gonna stop the timer here. Whew. March in place, drink something. And if you don't want to do anything else today, if, if you think like, ah, oh, come on, 30 minutes of cardio is enough for me. Yes, it is. You don't have to do more. This is a really good workout. And you can just like sit down, chat and chill now, or go about your day. But if you like doing more, join me for a strength session. We're gonna work abs and lower body bumps and legs. We're gonna do a quick stretch here. Quick stretch. I'm gonna put the towel down onto the mat because it's already wet. Yeah. Fingers together, up over your head, wide stance and lean from side to side here, right? <sighs> ah, you're so good. Ah. Now, forward with a straight back if you can. Hands to the floor. Shift your hips up one side and then the other. Oh. All right. Down and up, bend and extend those elbows a little bit to intensify the stretch. I walk in. Stretch the top of your foot like this. Pretty gently. We're gonna stretch more, of course, later on during the stretching part, but right now, just a quick stretching part for the ones who don't wanna join us for the stank session. Grab your foot. A nice quad stretch here. Other side. Hands behind your back together and pull them up. Lean from side to side here. So good. Pull him up, up, up. Shake him out. Press in front, back. All right. Nice. Nice going. So. Let's start with the strength work. So what we're going to do here is um, we're going to start with pull-ups because we're not gonna do a lot of 
upper body work, but I want to do the pull-ups, right? Because we were so good with the pull-ups these last days, so we got to do at least two sets. Just two sets, right? Two sets is very little, but we do them. I'm going to aim to do six. I hope, hopefully, be able to do seven again. Let's see. Um, and yeah, I don't really care if you go, if you um, do this grip, right? Or the chin-up grip, the neutral grip, if you have a bar for that, or wide grip or narrow grip, up to you, right? Up to your level of fit. I'm going to take off the wrist, but I don't need it. Um, up to your fitness level, to your level of like, uh, yeah, what you want to do also, what you want to train. And if you don't know how to do a pull up, you could just come up at your highest point, climbing up the bar here, and then you just let yourself down slowly, as slow as you can. Negative, you let go, and then you climb up again, letting yourself down, right? And yeah, we're not going to do many. If you don't have a pull up bar, just wait. For the second march in place and then we're going to start with abs and uh leg but yeah we got to do this pull up at least one <clears throat> oh guys will i be able to do them hopefully <clears throat> Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Yes, really good. Really good. One more set, then it's leg and abs. Now I'm aiming for five or six on the second set, <clears throat> and then we're gonna do a bit of legs, abs, legs, legs, abs. You ready for the second set? It didn't take a long break here, but it doesn't matter. If I'm just gonna be able to do four, it's okay to high fill, it's okay to, right? I don't have to do the mix. Today is not arms day, so it's just to, you know, to stay in the loop. One, two, three, four, uh, five, okay, this one didn't work out, but it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Uh, We made it anyway. There we go. Okay. The next thing we're gonna do is squats and calf raises. With the weight. Of course, you can do it without weight. But if you have the weight, use them. As I said, minus six kilograms each. But you can go heavier, you can go lighter. 
up to you. So for this, we kind of try to have the weight somewhere up here and we can hold them here because it's just for the extra weight. We don't want to train those arms. So what we do, we do a squat, a normal squat, right? Um, arms, uh, legs aligned, knees aligned with our toes, weight is in the heel, bum goes back and we hinge forward. So one and a calf breath up on our tippy toes. <laughs> Two. Three. And you don't have to go all the way down if you don't want to, if it doesn't feel good for your knees. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Woo! We're gonna do three sets. And yeah, you can have your arms, you can have the dumbbells up here, you can have them hanging down, you can hold them here. This is really up to you. Kind of change a little bit the way that you do the squats. But yeah, I'm gonna change the positioning in the next set. The important thing is to do the squat and the calf raise. And in the calf raise, we also like uh, to press up, not too high, not to fall over, but yeah, come onto those, onto the front part of your foot and not onto the side, right? Don't roll out. Not like this, try to have the weight more or less in the inner part of the foot, right? In the more, more in the inner part. Because rolling out is very, un this is very unhealthy, this is dangerous. So, in. The weight is here. <sighs> Next set. Tinky, how are you doing? Okay, she's here. She's here, you cannot see her, but she's here too. Both of the cats are here. So part of cat. So on this set, I'm gonna leave the weights here at my sides. And let's see how this goes. Same thing. Squat. And half raise. I cannot go that far down now, so I don't touch the ground with the weights. It's okay. As long as I keep those knees aligned with the toes. And yeah, you don't have to go all the way down anyway. Uh, it's totally fine to go just halfway, as long as you feel that. I think this was number four, right? If it wasn't, doesn't matter, then this is number five anyway. And six. Seven, I do feel that in my quad. Eight. Nine. Ten. Down with the weights. Whew, don't roll away. Stay here. I hope you're feeling that. If you feel, if it's too hard, drop the weights. If it's too easy, Use the heavier weights, go for more reps, go lower down. Ah, woo. So, on this next set, I'm gonna have the dumbbells in another position yet. I'm gonna have them here, like this. And yeah, you can do all the reps with the same positioning of the dumbbells, up to you. But I like changing it up, so it's not getting boring. Also, we then train slightly differently. We hit the muscles in a slightly different way, which is nice as well. So yeah, merci beaucoup. So guys, you ready for that next set? 
I hope you are. Grab those dumbbells. Have them here. Oh wait, one second. I have to put the the mic the mic to another position in here for the moment, so not hit it with the dumbbells. So you guys are down here now. And now we have the dumbbells here. So this is gonna be harder for our arms if you do it like this. So one. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, so hard, guys. Seven, eight. Nine, ten, down. The next thing we do is just calf raises. Just ten calf raises. We get those calves working a little bit. And then probably we're going to do some abs. And then we come back to legs. Or maybe we're going to do deadlifts before. How we see about that? Hi. So, just calf raises. So no need to take a big break here. Hi. Grab those dumbbells, stay at your side, and you just come up on those tippy toes. One, two, three, four. Oh, you're nice and controlled. Try not to tumble down. Five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Down, down. But not for long. Gonna do another set. Oh my gosh, are you as sweaty as I am? Because I am. I am so, so wet everywhere. Everywhere they smell. But it's hot as well. Let me check the temperatures. Let me procrastinate a little bit. What is it? What do the temperatures say? Not that hot actually. Just 34 degrees, right? This is nothing. 34 degrees, but I bet in here, I bet in here it's, it's 36 or more because of the PC, the lights, everything of me, right? I'm radiating heat as well. The cats are radiating heat. Okay, grab those dumbbells and half races again, up and down, right? Up and down, nice and controlled, nice and controlled on the up. Also on the down, I know this is hard, so don't go too fast, go slow. There's no certain number of reps you have to do right now. You just keep doing those. Just up and down. Whew. Up and down, it doesn't look like much, but I feel that in my calf. Because of the extra weight, it's 12 kilograms of extra weight, right? This is not, not little, not a little extra weight. Nice and up and down and remember the weight is in the mid section in the in the front in the front inner section of the foot right not on the sides not on the outside we're gonna hurt yourself if you do balance on the outside part of those feet Whew. it's like the weight is like mostly next or right around the ball of your big toe. Is it called the ball of your big toe? I don't know. On the next one, let's stay up there. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and pulse. Just teeny tiny pulses. You don't have to be super high up, but you're not putting those heels down right now, right? You pulse, and I'm feeling a burn. 
it burns. Let's stay here for five, four, three, two, one, down, and down. Woo, yeah, and listen to the pod. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for your support. Enjoy this stream and yeah, maybe consider subscribing or liking it. Hi, Alpha. Welcome. Thanks for the dinner. You're welcome. You're very welcome. Ah. So, uh, the next thing, yeah, we're going to stick with the legs for a moment. We're going to do our backside a little. We're just going to do Romanian dart lift. So, we're standing here. We have the weights in front of us, right? And then we have a slight bend in the knees. Not a very big bend, right? More or less a slight bend. If you have to bend them a bit more, well, do it, but try not to bend them too much. So it's not going to become a squat because it's supposed to be a deadlift. So, and you're leaning forward here until your torso is more or less parallel to the floor if you can. And then up again, right? This is one rep. And if you feel like it's too hard to go that low, or you cannot do that with a straight back and you feel like your back is like getting round, which is pretty bad for your back, don't do that. Then just go halfway which is fine for the beginning, or just do the exercise without the weights at first, right? You can do it without the weights. But if you want to do it with the weights, let's do it. Again, for everyone who just joined, my weights are six kilograms each. That's roughly 13.2 pounds. So let's grab them. And we're going to go for 10 reps. Hallo, Börse, guten Morgen. And down. And up. Mauti is übrigens auch schon da. Man sieht sie gerade noch nicht, aber sie liegt hier vorne und ruht. Ja. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Single song, okay. Seven. Yeah, he Madeira co. We have still no photo from front of him. Eight. He will his Euter not show. Nine. And ten. Down with the weights. Make sure when you put down the weights that you. Don't put him down with a round break either, right? This, no, no, no. Either with a straight back or with your knees, right? Don't like put him down like this. I know you think, oh, that's just this little moment, this teeny tiny moment where I do that. Yeah, but if you keep working out with the weight, you do that like every single day or every other day and you do it five, four, six times a day and then you do it 10 years and you know, it's like with like brushing your teeth. If you brush them wrong one time, it doesn't matter. But in the end, you keep brushing them wrong your whole life. And then you hurt your NCS, NCS which is NCS. What is NCS in English? Like your, your flesh? Whatever. You know what I mean? Or you don't. Good form is important. Always. Who's schüchtern? Yeah, I glaube auch. Bushling, Nazi. Nazi, so einfach auf den Plan zu rufen. Nazi, du bist so einfach zu manipulieren. Okay, guys, another set. Grab those dumbbells. Let's do 10 reps here. And one. Two, three, four, five, six, nice and control, seven, Eight. 
Nein. And ten. One more set after this one. And then we're gonna do some abs before we do more legs and booty. I need to buy some new Aquarius today. Ah. Next set, next set. Ah. And one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Way to the sides here. And we're gonna do some abs with the power tower. We're gonna start with toe taps, right? To get the hard stuff out of the way. Um, yeah, when we do toe taps, uh, if you don't have a bar, because you're gonna hang from that bar, I'm gonna show you one rep, right? You're gonna hang from that pull up bar and you're gonna try to tap the bar with your toes. Like that. If this is too hard, you could do knee tucks instead. And if you don't have the bar, what you do? Well, you do that night. So you're on the floor, out, and up, down, up, right? Or if this is too hard, you start with a single leg, jackknife, right? And you could even like bend your knees, then it's gonna be easier on the floor as well. We're gonna go for 10 reps. I just kind of, when I did this, I felt like, wow, it's hard, but well, it's okay. It's okay. We don't want it to be easy. We don't want it to be easy. So let's try to do these 10 reps. If I don't make it, well, then I'm going to switch to knee tucks. But I think one set of 10 reps should be possible. I did it the last, the last two days, not the last yesterday. And on Sunday, I did it as well. It was a streaming then, but so. You ready? Well, it doesn't matter if you are or not. You're gonna do them anyway. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Five. Four, it's getting harder. Three, two, one. Ah. Ah. Wow, did you see how my legs were bent and bent more and more with each rep? Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Just try, keep trying, keep working. And then we're gonna get where we wanna be at some point. We're gonna do another set of 10. Another set of 10 and then a set of five. So one more terrible 10, 10 set with 10 reps. One more terrible 10 rep set. And then it's just gonna be five reps, yeah. <laughs> this is like wanna be rapping without a rhyme. <sighs> oh, Mauti's leaving us. Goodbye, Mauti. Goodbye, goodbye. 
We still have Tinky, you cannot see her, but she's here. She is here, she's ready to, to make some trouble. Right, right now she's like charging her batteries to uh, annoy us once she's recharged, right? Right, Tinky? Yeah. You're so cute. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, it's a shame you cannot see how cute she is. Well, um, next set, 10 reps, 10 reps, 10 toe taps, 10 knee tucks, 10 jackknives, 10 single leg jackknives, right? There are so many variations you can choose from so many exercises, no excuses. And 10 single leg jackknives is something you can definitely do while I'm doing the 10 reps here. If you bend the knee, I don't care, right? But just do, do it. Do it. Just do it. <sighs> One. Two. Three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> so hard so hard well another set but just five it's gonna be so easy it's gonna be feel like feel like nothing Let's do this. Let's do this without further ado. And one, two, three, four, five. Oh. So nice, so nice, so good. It's <sighs> More apps, more apps. <sighs> but right now, let's try. Let's try to give our, um, let's try to Give our shoulder, well, our hands a little rest, like not hanging, not using the, uh, the power top for a moment. What we do is we're going to do three minutes on the floor um, with the weight. So I'm just going to grab one weight, so it's six kilograms. You can do it without the weight. You can have the weights. It doesn't matter. I'm going to put on a timer, right? I'm going to put on the timer and we're going to start doing more or less two minutes so grab the weight hands up here and uh, what we do is russian twist here for one minute right if this is too hard you could have your hand and your feet down on the floor right but yeah having them up here is a bit harder so you twisting from side to side russian twist weighted russian twist if it's too hard put down the dumbbell <sighs> using those obliques to move the weight from side to side here, right? <sighs> Keep breathing. Woo. And then we're holding on to something, so it's like not that we're not holding on to something that we're still using those arms a little bit, but it's not as hard as hanging from the bar, right? <sighs> we should be feeling that more in our core than in our arms and legs. Five, four, three, two, one. 
down here and you do a crunch with the weight in your hands right crunch up it's just a teeny tiny move and there's no momentum in it you push up push nice and controlled you should really feel that in your upper abs right it's such a tiny move but it's not easy Keep pushing. <sighs> so close to the next exercise. One more. And now we drop the weight. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now to the side, to the middle, to the other side, right? And yeah, this might not feel like much. Ah, but it's not easy to do this nice and controlled, right? And I really again want you to pull up there, right? To engage those side abs, the upper abs. <sighs> to push off the mat towards one side. Oh, so I feel the burn here. Not the same kind of burn that we feel when we do the toe taps, but still hard. Still not easy. Oh. 10 seconds. Okay. Away with the weight. And off with the timer. <sighs> Let's do a down dog, quick down dog to stretch our shoulders. And our back and everything right. Moving from side to side here a little bit. <sighs> Bringing one heel to the floor and then the other while shifting our hips. From left to right. And walk in. Up. And the next thing we're going to do is knee tuck pulses. So uh, we're hanging from the pull up bar and we're going to do a knee tuck and pulse our knees in. If you don't have a pull up bar, um, you could do this on the dip handles, right, with your or dip station, with your hands straight instead of hanging. Or you could just like be doing something like this, right? Legs out here, pulsing, or even go further down. Good morning, Gregory. Hi, Cam. How you doing? So. Let's come here. And like I said, if you don't have, if you have a dip handle you, in, in between two chairs, you could do this in between two chairs as well, pulsing here. But I'm going to do it hanging down here, just 10 pulses. All right, not much. But it's going to be, it's going to be, it's not going to be easy. So, up and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, down. And we're going to do three sets. So if you don't get your knees that high, it doesn't matter. Just do smaller pulses. But if you can, go for more or less up where your quads are parallel to like as close as you can to your chest. I do feel the contraction in my lower abs, but also in my upper abs, right? It's a really good and hard exercise. Doesn't look like much. Because it's such a small range of motion, but it's intense, it's intense. And make sure to be hanging and not to pull with your arms, right? You're hanging there. You're just moving like the, the, the lower part of your body. Not your arms and shoulders. You're ready for the next set. Let's go. We hang in here, knees 
and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These last reps, wow, they almost kill me. And the thing is that you have to do them more or less slow. You have to pause in between because if not, you keep like moving around too much, creating too much momentum. So this is what it makes what makes it harder as well. That you have like these kind of short isometric hold in between when you try to come like into the neutral position from that small like uh, swinging motion you create. Another set. And up. And one. This is the last set. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, push through guys, eight, nine, ten. Oh, wow, these last reps are so hard. It doesn't look like it, it really does not. And oh, it's so hard. I love it. So, um, 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 um. My angel. So, um, yes, we're gonna do one more up exercise with a power tower. And this time, with the uh, the dip station. If you don't have a dip station, right? Because what we're doing now. We're trying to do an isometric hold uh, in a kind of an L sit. So we come up here, shoulders down, right? And then up and hold it for a little time and down. We're not gonna hold it for, so, for long, so don't worry. And if you cannot hold it, instead of holding it, you just do a few like raises. But if you don't have these dip handles, you could do that in between two chairs. Or if you have yoga blocks, uh, this would work as well with yoga blocks, right? So you could. Uh, yeah, you, you could even do it on the floor if you can do an L sit, but it's easier with yoga blocks or something else you can prop yourself up onto because then you have more range of motion and then you could just be holding it here, right? And yeah, you could do this on the floor. What? My hands? They look terrible. Look at my hands. Look at how they look. Look at those hands. They look like the hands of a construction worker. So. So, uh, let's do this, right? We're not gonna hold it for long, counting from five down, right? But yeah, if you cannot hold it even for like a second or something, yeah, real really working hand. Uh, then just like do one, two, three leg raises or hold it for a second, down, hold it for another second. Work your way up, right? So up here, shoulders down, and let's hold it for five, four, three, two, one, down. We're gonna do this five times. And we're not gonna take long breaks. And you might feel it also a lot in your quads because your quads are actively acting there. They're part of the hip flexors, they're part of the muscles that enable you to like bring your uh, 
your leg close to your torso or the other way around however you want however direction you want to go whatever direction you want to go okay next up and five four three two one down ah. This is harder than it looks as well, right? Once you're up there, you think, yeah, well, it's okay. Then your, your quads start kind of cramping and you go down and you're like, what a relief that we're done with that. Three more. <clears throat> and let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Down. Two more. Let's go. And up. And five, four, three, two, one. Down. Last set. I was walking through the desert, searching for the truth. Left everything behind me when I came out to you. Walking through the day, night. <clears throat> last one up shoulders down and five four three two one if you have a pull-up bar you can hang from it decompressing your spine a little bit stay tonight So, we're very close, very close to moving it to the floor. We're gonna do one more exercise. Uh, we're gonna do a Romanian deadlift. Single leg deadlift, we did the Romanian deadlift already. So single leg deadlift. Um, ah, well, kind of similar to the other ones. You could do a staggered deadlift as well, right? If you, because the single leg deadlift, you would have your hands here in front and then Bend forward like this, hips are not twisting, your leg goes up and back down and your torso kind of parallel to the floor, right? This would be the single leg one. If this is too hard because you're struggling a lot with your balance, you could do a staggered deadlift instead, having one, one foot in front, the other one uh, back there and then going up and down like this, right? This requires less balance. Maybe we should all do those, right? Maybe let's do all, let's do the staggered ones today. Because the other day we did the, the one with the leg, look, we're gonna do the staggered ones today. Right, but if you wanna train your balance as well, you could be doing the one where you have your leg up in the air behind you. But yeah, then we're gonna do the staggered. So grab those dumbbells, one or two, and one, Foot is in front, the other one behind you, slightly behind you, and you're not twisting, uh, you're not twisting those hips open. And up and down, one, two, you should really feel that in the back side of the front leg, three, Four. Five, and your, your back is uh, straight. Hi, skull farmer. Five, or was it six? Doesn't matter. Six. Seven. Eight and nine, 
10. Let's switch legs, other side. Same thing here, most of the weight is in the front leg. It's slightly bent and we feel that in the front leg, no twisting of the hips. We hinge forward with a straight back and up again. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Whee. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. Ten. Down with the weights for a moment. You're gonna do another set and then we'll move it to the floor. So close to moving it to the bow well, and about half an hour, 40 minutes from the stretching part. <sighs> so, next set. Let's grab those dumbbells and do the staggered deadlift. The staggered single leg -like deadlift or staggered deadlift. And One, nice and controlled, two, three, four, should be really fitting that in your backside, in the backside of that front leg, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Quick break before we do the other side. Whew. The towel is already so wet. Gotta switch it up in a second. Other side. Ready? Go. the hips right back is straight two nice and controlled three good morning anime face welcome four five six Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Whew. 
Let's move the cam down to the floor. I'm gonna run an ad break while I do that because you won't be able to see me anyway. So yeah, don't worry. About that. And not everyone might get an ad break, you just have one, of course you don't get one. Let's move it down here, down. Okay. There we go. There we go, more or less. Did have to uh, get the PC, the screen a bit closer. Yes, this is very true. This is true. Before we switch to legs, uh, to our abs again, we're gonna do more uh, lower body, more legs, more glutes. And therefore, what we do today is we actually gonna put all the weights, not all the weights, but we're gonna put the weights from one dumbbell on the other one. So we have a dumbbell with how much weight will it be? It's uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten kilograms. And we're gonna use the ankle weights as well. So it's gonna be even more, right? So if you have an adjustable dumbbell, adjust it. If not, don't worry about it. So. So. Oh, why are these? Oh, no, it's, it's from this one. Oh, wait a second. Okay. Gotta get in here. Ah, okay, so it doesn't make noise. Why is that pinky? There's a, there's a fly here. You have to take, you have to, you have to uh, take care of the fly. Pinky's not interested in doing that. So, other side. Have I still got time to go? Yeah, actually, they opted to see her today, the sister. Yeah, you haven't tried your birthday cake? Why not? What flavor is it? So, we have, we have these dumbbells now that are the dumbbell now that is like I said, uh, 10 kilograms and then we have the ankle weights here, which are one kilogram each so it's an additional four kilograms so we could we will be trying to do the glute bridges with a with a 
an additional weight of uh, 14 kilograms. Good morning, Joseph. Welcome. I'm just thinking about if I should put a towel underneath. But Tinky is on my other towel. Tinky, you're on my towel. Oh, we're gonna do it without the towel. We're just gonna see how it goes without the towel. So, we put that here, right? This one, holding it. And we maybe first of all, we put those somewhere. Now I have to think about how to how to put that up here. <laughs> right? Yeah, excited for you said 8 p.m. Ah, okay, wait for them to open it. And what flavor is the cake? <laughs> Is it just birthday cake flavor? I think birthday cake flavor is like vanilla or I don't know. So, okay guys, we have the weight here, right? Whatever weights we have and we do glute bridges. We try to keep the weights up there with our hands, not actually like holding the weights up, but just uh, yeah, keeping it from rolling back up and down, right? Up and down. Really squeezing those glutes when we're up there. Up and down. With no milk and nuts. Oh, no gluten, okay. Chocolate cake, nice. We had some chocolate cake with no gluten the other day. It was really good for Mercadona, Mercadona. Up and down, up and down. Push and push. Let's do ten more here. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two. I do really feel a burn there. One. Ah! Wow, at first I was thinking, okay, these extra, the extra weight is not doing much. But now, during those last reps, wow, this was a lot. Ah! How are you feeling? How are you doing? Ah, oh, the other is chocolate cake. Oh, okay. Okay. It's two birthday cakes. <sighs> Next set. We're gonna do ten reps on our heels here, right? On our heels. Just ten reps, and then we're gonna pulse it up there for ten reps as well. Gonna be hard. We try to create a straight line from knees to toe uh, to heels. From knees to shoulders, see it's not a push-up, so not from knees, uh, from, from heels to shoulders. <laughs> from shoulders to knees. My gosh, my brain. What's what's up, brain? Brain, it's, it's, it's Wednesday already, my brain is like, ah. We want weekend. Oh, she's high, yeah. That's weird, why, why would she do that? That's weird. I mean, I don't know her. I don't know the situation, but yeah, it's weird. I mean, it's like, it's, it should, should be normal that you're not talking. Like, it's just talking. It's not like something to be like embarrassed about or something that's bad, or it's just like normal human interaction, right? It's like, I think it should be normal to have like a normal relationship with your ex-partner, especially if you have kids. Then it should be even more normal. If you don't have kids, well, then maybe it doesn't matter. But if you have kids, isn't it like the, this is the way it should be? You just have a like normal adult re relationship. Yeah, I can understand that. It's weird. But well, maybe she's insecure about that in front of the kids or. Okay. Ugh. 
Maybe someone else is telling her to do that. You never know. Okay, we're on our heels and one, two, three. Really squeeze those glutes when you're up there. Five, four, three, uh, five, four, five, six, seven. My gosh. Eight, nine. 10 and pulse it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Done. Yes. It is what it is. That's, that's life. Yeah, and there's like no point in like making yourself sad about it. Like, I mean, you cannot do anything about being sad about stuff usually because it's just the feelings they are there, but then you just, just like try to cope with them to keep on. Don't waste more time than necessary on that. Another normal set on the on our soles here, right? You ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and hold it for five, four, three, two, one, down, one more set. <sighs> If you had to eat breakfast, don't worry about it. You gotta do what you gotta do. Breakfast is a very important meal anyway. Any meal is important, right? Any meal. We need to nurture our body. Last set. Right? 10 and 10. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and let's stay up there and pull for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and hold it for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, this, that did burn, didn't it? For me, it did. It did burn a lot. Ah, uh, okay. Uh. Back to opening those dumbbells. Woo! Do -do -do. Oh, there's the, there's one missing. Why? missing here the the hmm come on don't know why maybe I lost it the uh <laughs> Woo, ouch! That was dumb. Why is there this one of the one of these is missing? That's weird. And now I'm thinking, did I see something like that here and like, put it away or put it? To the... Let me check the. Let me check the box here if it's in there no it's not ah it is okay
さあ。They come and go like hot coffees. A lot of people in your life come and go, right? And some people stay, some people stay for a certain while, other people stay for a longer while. But in the end, it's always you. Away with those dumbbells. <laughs> We don't need them anymore for today. Yes, exactly. You never know. You always have to be grateful what you got and then when it's gone, just be grateful for the next thing that will come. Don't like, don't cry too much about stuff. Now let's put on the ankle weights if we have them because we're gonna do one set of donkey kicks, right? We haven't done donkey kicks in such a long time, but I feel like today is one of the days. Your brother is where well, you don't need to work with weights. You can do body weight exercises first of all, right? There's no need to use weights, especially if you're starting out. And with weights, you can actually like hurt yourself a lot if you're not very trained so far. So Maybe the best thing I think in the beginning is to work out just with your body weight, get to know your body, learn that kind of stuff. And then once you feel like this is not enough no more. Please stop using that command all the time, Skull Farmer. We already used it before, there's no need to use this uh, every minute. So. We're gonna do donkey kicks. Um, I'm gonna put on the timer and then I'm gonna explain to you what we do. You can use the uh, ankle weights if you have them. If you don't, don't worry too much about it. Um, you could do this without the weights as well. So we have one minute, right? One minute of donkey kicks here. And you can do them up here. Right, you can do them up here. Or you can do them with your uh, arms down here, right? Wherever you are, important either your elbows underneath your shoulders or your wrists underneath your shoulders. And yeah, I'm gonna start up here today. And yeah, this is what we do. And I'm gonna cue you in. I'm gonna tell you what we do with each exercise. It's just one minute each exercise, the three minutes total on each side. Um, And yeah, let's see how that goes. We haven't done those in a while, so might be dicey or maybe not. Since we've been working with the heavier weights, maybe it's super easy. Let's see, I'm really interested. Okay, something happened there with the PC. I'm gonna check later. Later, alligator. Okay, we start here with the basic donkey kicks, right? Just in and out, nice and controlled. We don't twist those hips, right? We don't twist them open. We just move that leg up and down, shoulders away from ears, nice and controlled. You could go faster if you wanted to, um, up to you. It's your workout. Just keep doing this for one minute. And if you feel like it's, it's too much, of course you can always take a break, but yeah. I would rather want you to try to work through those three minutes. Nice, up and down. Not even 20 seconds left. And then we're gonna do the next exercise. Your foot is flexed here. But well, if you prefer having a pointed foot, you could do this with a pointed foot as well. Five, four, three, two, one. And let's keep that leg up there and pulse it. Pulse, pulse for one minute, right? We're at our highest point now. Our glutes are squeezed at all times. Woo! This is really hard, guys. Isn't it? Although it's not as heavy as the stuff we did with the heavy dumbbells, 
I still feel a burn and it's normal to also feel a burn in your uh, supporting glute because it's working as well, right? It's stabilizing everything. Might even feel a, uh, a, a more of a burn in that leg. Up, up, up. And about 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. And now pull the leg in and push out. Flex, foot still. Pull in and push out. And again, remember, we're not twisting those hips open, right? Our hip bones are as square as so they can be. And this is a nice and controlled move. Pull the leg in, push it back out. As straight as you can. Try and to have the foot on hip height. If you cannot get that high, if it's too hard, down here is okay too, right? It's okay. But try to have it on hip height here. In and out. Almost done, guys, almost. What we're gonna do, actually, we're gonna do two and a half minutes. I just, three and a half minutes, I just decided we're gonna do 30 seconds more, right? We're gonna pulse it for 30 seconds. Are you married? No, I'm not married. Out there, back and up. Straight, leg and up there for 30 seconds. Then 30 seconds of rest and then the other side. No, I'm not married. I wouldn't marry. I don't like the idea of marrying because like what for? I mean, maybe for if it goes, it's good for taxes, I get it, but why should like I like marry in front of a state or whatever? Like, if I decide I'm with someone, then I'm with that person. I don't need like a, I don't need like someone to tell me that it's like okay or that I'm married. So, you know what I mean? Down, down here. Thirty seconds of rest, and then we do the other side. So yeah, maybe for taxes it's okay, but. Why, why, what other reason is there? If you don't have like really good like, like advantages in taxes, it's, I don't think it's necessary actually. Okay, other side guys, and uh, we do the normal donkey kicks here, right? The ones we started with, up and down here, up and down, shoulders away from ears, or hips are square, foot is flex, and up, up. But of course, everyone who wants to get married and who is happily married, yeah, that's a good thing. Like if, if you like it, if it's important for you, that's a good thing. Like I'm not judging anyone. Just for me, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think it, I wouldn't find it necessary. But I also don't have kids and I don't want to have kids because I think if you have kids, maybe it's a different thing as well. But like without kids, like why? Up. Oh. Yeah, exactly, for law and government. So if you get a really good, like if you have a really big advantage with taxes, that's okay. But apart from that, what for? Up. Even with kids, it's the same thing. Okay, well, up and pulse. Yeah, well, I don't know about that. Like I, I say, like in the, those situations, I cannot tell because I mean, it was like it was like standard thing, like back in the day, right? If you had kids, you married or something, I think. But well, nowadays things are changing. Ch -ch -ch changes. Okay, up here, pulsing. Pulsing, right? Nice pulses, one minute. Those glutes are engaged at all times right now. And remember, no slouching. This is very unhealthy up here. And if you ever feel like your wrists are hurting, you could always come down here onto your elbows, right? You live with the air for 10 years, yeah. Exactly, you don't need that. You know that you're together. Up, 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 and in the end, like if you, I've, I've been working in in in, in, in uh, catering, and there were a lot of marriages, uh, like a lot of uh, weddings. So now pull in, and push back out. Right, try to uh, keep that leg on uh, hip height when you're pushing it out, nice and controlled, no turning out. And yeah, I, I was like working at a lot of weddings there. And it's such a waste of money. Like, I don't know with rich people marrying, of course. I mean, if it's like your happy day and you want to do a great party, I understand that. But they were wasting so much plastic, so much stuff. It was like, 
wow, and so much money, right? I would rather like go on a nice world travel or do something like spend my money otherwise than like on a wedding, like catering for like 500 people. But like, I don't know, do you barely know those people probably? Yeah. I mean, if you're in, into that stuff and you dream about it, well, do it, of course. But I personally find that often, often it like seemed too much. But, and now let's stay up there and pulse it up for 30 seconds and then we're done with that. Whew. When you go one penny, you spend it. Oh, you're young still, it's okay. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Shoulders away from ears. Last seconds here. Up, up, up. And about five, four, three, two, one. Down. Let's, ah. Let's get rid of the timer. And switch to legs. We switch to legs. We're gonna leave those ankle weights on for the moment. Um, if you want to, right? If you want to. Um, um, A B C D E F G H A J K L M N O P. Um. You grab your ball, your bar ball, a playground ball, whatever you have. If you have one, if you don't have one, uh, you put your you put your hands underneath your bum to create that little hole for your lower back, and then you have your legs up here. And what we do is like tap down and tap down. And I don't want you to pull those knees further in than like on hip level because then you're like letting go of the load and you're taking work out of that exercise. Did you get your tattoo called yet? You're talking to me like since yesterday? No. I have bad appointment on in September. Which is not far away actually, right? It's like so crazy. It's the 20, 23rd? Is it the 23rd of, of September already? Wow, is it? So next week? No, the, the, the week, not next week, but the week after I have the appointment already. And next month also I'm like going to Germany. Berlin isn't it crazy isn't it crazy so fast time is flying okay put that ball underneath your bum <laughs> so, if you have a ball you don't need your hands but you can use the ball legs up here and then tap down and then the other side Whew. Yeah. And down. I feel like I would like to draw and paint more, but like, I have so little time, so I'm not doing that right now. I like drawing. I like so many things. There's so many great things to do in life, and we have so little time to actually do them, right? Ooh. Hi, Alfredo. Welcome. Oh, what are those you using with your feet? These are ankle weights. Ankle weights. Each one is one kilogram. So it's an additional weight of two kilograms on each leg. Tap and up. You can do that without ankle weights though. Tap and up. Tap. Tap. And tap. And the next 10, we do both legs at a time. Nice and controlled. And up. Tap. And up. Oh, I didn't count there. I think this is maybe number three. Maybe it's number four, but we say it's three and this is four. Rather do one more than do one less. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. My life is 
nine. Oh, you don't have to. And ten. Straighten those legs. Leave them up there. And now one leg down. And up and the other one. Nice and controlled here. And again, you don't need the ball. You could still have your hands underneath your bum where the ball is, and it would be fine. It would be a good workout. Down. And up. Down. And up. So sweaty, guys. Woo! Down. And up. And down. And up. And now 10 times with both legs. One. Two, and if this is too hard, you could take with single legs or bend your legs. Three, four, whew, five. I did eleven. Yeah, well, eleven is fine as long as it's one more, not one less. Six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, and away with the ball. Yeah, you don't have to use the weights in the beginning, right? The weights are just something that you add on later on. So. It smells like, I don't know, turpentine, turpentine? I don't know, it smells like some solution for, I don't know if they're painting something out there or like, weird. You play any other sports? I do, I do pole dance and the aerial silks, but it's acrobatic. Where is the Lanchester on University? In Lance, Lanchester, probably, right? <laughs> I'd say. You know. It does this smell. You play football, you swim? Nice. I do swimming as well, but just like not like not I just like go to the pool swimming. Yeah, it comes from out here. Smells like, oh uh, yeah, turpentine. Turpentine, is it called that? Turpentine. Let me check that real quick. Mm. In Espanol it's serpenteno, but in, in English? Turpentine, turpentine, okay. Yeah, it smells like that. It smells like that. So, yeah. Yeah, for me, we're being paint, exactly. That's what I'm smelling. I remember, like, because, like, my, my mom, like, she used to do all, everything in her house. Like, uh, she, everything, what well, she used to do a lot, like, painting and painting the uh, heaters and everything. And, yeah, I remember I had to do that, too. And then I had to clean the brushes with curb sign. And it smelled like that. I kind of like the smell. Not if it's too strong, but like a slight turpentine fragrance has something about it. <laughs> I remember me like being like this, like eight, ten year child, like smelling turpentine, <laughs> getting high on that probably. <laughs> yeah, because like I can get high on that, I think. No. Um, what? Uh, good morning, Ramsey. Um, oh, the I just see that the screen is like tilted. 
It tilted. It. <laughs> so, um, we're gonna do apps now again. We're done with legs. So, my towels, all of my towels are wet by now. So, so, um, here we go. What we do now, we're going to try to do, we're not going to try, we will do something for, or, uh, obliques, right? Oblique work before we get into the stretchy work. So, uh, we're here in a kneeling position. One leg goes out, and may, I hope you can see that in the mirror, like you're not hinging forward, no. You're just going to the side. Darling, welcome! Mercadona, Mercadona, Mercadona. How you doing? Welcome. Oh, thank you, thank you, move. Pregnant person merman medium skin tone honeybee honeybee person with skullcap medium skin tone. Honeybee honey. <laughs> honeybee honeybee. <laughs> okay guys, up here, emoji poetry is like one of the most beautiful arts of uh, poetry that is out there, guys, right? Like in a uh, in hundred or two hundred years, in, in, in uh, people will not like be analyzing goatee, goatee, how, oh, however or i don't know any other poets or uh whoever's like read shakespeare or something people will be analyzing starling's emoji poetry and they will think like like uh yeah what what kind of like intention was behind using that that certain emoji in that certain moment like <laughs> okay guys up here and then we move to the side and up again for 10 times. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. nine and ten and on the next one we stay down there and pulse for ten times ten nine eight seven six five four three two one other side have you watched young Sheldon? i don't know how many seasons there are but i think i watched the first season or parts of it at least Oh, that's a long time ago. Other side. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Bon dia, Eduardo. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. And let's stay down there and pulse it for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Okay, we're gonna do. How else could it be? Oh, we're gonna get some water soon, but apart from getting some water... We're gonna do some playing. Right? Before we... Uh, before we start. I'm gonna use the timer here. We're gonna hold a forearm plank. You're going to do hip dips with the forearm plank and then hold the forearm plank for 30 seconds. So it's going to be one minute and 30 seconds in total. Um, yeah. In a forearm plank, I don't want you to like have your bum up here, right? This is like kind of a weird dolphin pose, but 
Everything should be nice and engaged here, right? This is where we are. And then we do the cats are still asleep. No, they've been here. Like one cat is sleeping right here in front, the other one is sleeping somewhere else. I mean, they're not still asleep, they are asleep again already. They sleep through a lot, a long time with day. Oh! Yeah, I think that's by me. I think that's here vorne. Eben war sie oben auf dem Bürostuhl, jetzt liegt sie hier. Das ist deine süße Tinky Baby. Tinky Baby. Ah. So, uh, let's do, let's do this. we go okay so again like we're down here and then we twist the bum from side to side here right and we're not moving those uh, legs too much or the feet we try to move uh, from our midsection or torso or like or obliques actually or hips they are twisting so we are using those uh, core muscles to twist from side to side and we are halfway in right halfway Woo! Uh, isn't it great to have some scrap all around wood of course it's, it's wonderful like to bring so many people together like we're like all in different time zones and we're working out together anyway isn't it like it's like wonderful 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 four three two one and now hold it hold it for 30 seconds keep breathing guys breathing and smiling and working Woo! Ah. 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 Two, one, and down. So, uh, next thing. The next thing we're gonna do is uh, so similar. Uh, we're gonna hold, we're gonna get into the form plank and we're gonna lift one leg off the floor, one and then the other. And then we're gonna hold the form plank for 30 seconds. So it's gonna be one minute, 30 seconds of a hold. If it gets too hard, you can always come onto your knees and do the thing on your knees, right? You could be doing the plank on your knees, but as long as it's a plank, this is not a plank, right? This is the plank on your knees, which is fine. But if not, then we have the plank here and up, up, right? This is what we want to do again. Don't lift your bum up too high. You want to keep everything like more or less in a straight line to properly work that plank. Thank you. You're so cute. She's not reacting. Usually she is. And now she's looking. Ah. She's too tired. You ready, guys? I hope you are. Because we're gonna get into that plank in a second. Let's go, guys. Let's go. <clears throat> so, down. Everything engaged. And one leg up and the other. When we do that, we're working the abs, we're working the bum, the shoulders, right? The form plank is a full body exercise anyway. And with that move, we're like uh, doubling the work of the bum, the lower back. You don't have to go fast, right? You can take your breaks in between. Tinky wants to leave. I'm gonna open the door for you, Tinky, in a second. Right now, I cannot. Up. 
30 seconds in, 30 seconds, and then we have a 30 seconds hold. Woo! Up. And up. Up. <sighs> so close. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's stay here for 30 seconds. <sighs> Keep breathing, guys. <sighs> Keep pushing. So close to the end. <sighs> Woohoo! Oh, yes. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, then. Woo! So. So. You drink your coffee, nice. Nice. How much can you do plank? I don't know. I've never tried to like do it in Finale, so I don't know. A long time. So, guys. Uh, I think I think we're done. We're done. We're done. We did everything. Well, we didn't do uh we didn't do we didn't use the booty band. I wanted to use the booty band as well. <gasps> we gotta do that, right? We gotta do that. I I wrote it into the I wrote it into the description, so we're gonna do that. So grab guys, grab your booty band. Grab your booty band for your loop, your resistance loop. Ah. Put it above your knees here, right like that. And then this is the last exercise. After this one, we gonna uh, we gonna stretch. If you don't have a band, you don't need uh, you don't need it. You can do it without a band. And if you have a band, even better. I'm gonna put on the timer. 60 seconds. Uh, we wait until the, these are over. And let's put down the other towel. Because everything is so wet still. I'm so darn sweaty. So. So. But. Uh. We have 32 seconds to go before we start. Get ready, guys. Uh. Uh. So, here we are on our side, right? In a side lying position. So close to start with clamshells, right? For about 45 degree angle. Here you could do the exercise without the band. You can do it with the band, right? Four, three, two, one. Up and down. Just a clamshell here. We're trying to have always some tension on that band. And up and down. Woo. And up. And up. Yeah, relationships are not always easy, right? Up. And up. Still smelling that turpentine, turpentine, however you pronounce it. Do you say turpentine or turpentine? Turpentine, right? And up, 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 yeah, yeah, but, but, but the last part is like tine, like wine, and not like teen, right? Because in English, it's never like 100% sure how to pronounce stuff. In and kick back out, in and out, three minutes on each side, and then we're done, and we stretch. 
Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. And if you feel like your hand is getting numb or tingly, you could put your arm down here and do like do like this. It sometimes happens to me in that position, I don't know. I'm like cutting my own bloodstream off to the hand and it starts to tingle and yeah. <laughs> Up. And in. And back. In. And back. In. You don't talk to her other ex-husbands. Well, maybe she's just hiding it as well. Who knows? In. Okay, now back there. You stay back there and we pulse it up. I mean, she has reasons to talk to you if you're the father of the children. So it would be, it would be super weird if she wouldn't. Right? Oh, well. Up, up. Uh, really? Oh, okay, this is sad. Well, it's life, right? It's life. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Teeny tiny pulses here. And I do feel a burn here in my bum, in my outer thigh. And we're so close to the end. On that side, at least. Three, two, one. Other side and then stretching time. Uh. So. So, other side, and we still have 37 seconds until we start, so a long time. A long time, right? <laughs> Doesn't matter. We can enjoy those 37 seconds. Well, now it's just 25. You had a light nightmare? Yeah, we sometimes do have nightmares, right? It's human. Mm. Three, two, one. Let's start with the clamshells here, right? Up and down, moving out from the hip socket. The leg, the lower leg is uh, firmly planted to the floor. We're not rolling back. I didn't say that on the other side. I'm sorry. I didn't cue you incorrectly. And up and down, nice and controlled, right? If you don't have the band, you could as well put like for the next time you do that, you could put a... a um, weight here on your leg and just secure it with your hands so it's not rolling down and then you also have some extra resistance it made you wake up oh yeah well if the nightmares doesn't make us wake up then we don't remember them right up. and up 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 and up Five, four, three, two, one, and in, and push back out, in, and out. But well, the good thing about it is like if you then re realize, don't kick your mirror by the way, it's a nightmare and it's not real, then it's a good thing, right? And I mean nightmares are, are it's an annoying but they're important as well. Nightmares and dreams, they kind of make us like, they help us cope with uh, our lives in a weird way sometimes. Pull in and push. In and push back. In and push back. And we're so close to the end. And thank you everyone who's watching and enjoying this, right? Who's working out with me saying thank you for your support, for liking the stream, subscribing, checking out my other videos. We're gonna stretch soon. Nice stretchy times. Although stretching can be hard too, right? My stretching sessions are not the easiest out there. And now let's stay back there and pulse it up. Whew. Up, up, up. Up, 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 guys. Teeny tiny pulses here. 
This life is also, yeah. Some people say that. That's true. Up, 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 up. Flex that foot and up. <sighs> Keep breathing. And we have about 20 seconds and then we're done, guys. I'm gonna go to the bathroom then, get something to drink, right? But first of all, we're gonna do some easy stretches. We're gonna do some easy stretches and then I'm gonna go for something to drink. So we can like start with the stretching part. And we're done! Woohoo! We're done, guys. Away with the band. We made it. Bam, bam, bam. Here we go. We made it to the stretching part. Ah. We made it to the stretching part, guys. Let's come onto our back to start. Right. Ah. Legs up here, arms out to the side somehow, and then roll those legs over to one side. Right? And look the other way. Look the other way. Try to keep the shoulders down on the floor. And up. Other side. Ah. Ah. Back to the middle, lift one leg off the mat and uh, you can have the other leg up here still and then you pull the leg in or at your, at your thigh, at your calf, wherever. Gonna stretch that, we're gonna intensify that stretch later on, but right now it's pretty easy. Time to yawn, oh yes, for sure. And then down again, up. And either grab your thigh or grab your calf. Ah, uh, and pull in. I often dream stuff that's like movies, especially like if I watch some movies or something, and I kind of know that it's not a dream, that it's a movie or something, because often I'm not in the dream. Like watching a movie can be that's fun sometimes. Although sometimes it's also annoying. When not annoying, it's also it can be scary at times. But yeah, usually I kind of know that I'm dreaming. I'm like dreaming like yeah, okay, this is not real. So slow pose. One leg up, the other leg up, and we try to bring those toes to the floor over our head if we can. If we cannot. No, we don't. Uh, then we stay wherever we are. But if we're able to get it down, then down. And move your hips from side to side. If you can, if it feels good. If it doesn't feel good, then just stick in the middle or stay wherever you are. And even if you're like here, this is fine. Or here or wherever you can. Mm. From side to side to side. Maybe bring those arms in 
and bend the knees to intensify the stretch here if you want to. If it's not yet time for you to do that or if you feel this is not comfy, don't do it. Stay on one side. On the other. Feet out there. Whew. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and let's roll back. Whew. Up again. Hands around your knees, make a round back here. Flip it around. Gonna stretch the back a little bit. Ah. And what we do here is we bend one leg and we try to tap the floor here and then the other one. If you're very flexible, you might be able uh, to tap further to the front. If you're not very flexible, if you have a less flexible back like me, then you'll be able to tap more at your sides, which is fine as well, as long as you like kind of feel a little stretch in the back. Five nights at Freddy's, yes, I know it. I don't, I don't like it. I think it's like very annoying, the game. I've never played it. I've just seen people play it and I don't know. It's not my thing. I find it annoying, but well, up to, uh, some people might like it. And then maybe if you play it, it's fun probably, but like from what I just, from watching people on Twitch playing it, I wasn't a big fan. And one more each side. Boop. Boop. Hands underneath your shoulders here. Up into Cobra Pose, right? Shoulders down, we look up and we rotate through those shoulders. We don't rotate the head, but the shoulders. I know this is hard in the beginning, but if you do that more often, you get used to it. And let's rotate the other way. Down. Hola, Alex. Que tal? Buenas. And back into child's pose. Let go of all the tension we just created in the lower back. Up. Another back stretch here. So we try to grab all our stretches. Okay, well, you don't have to do all of them, right? One leg up, grab it with the opposite arm here and pull up. Stretch the back a little. And down, other side, pull it, shoulders away from ears, down, let's stretch the top of our feet, so we press up into kind of a down dog, but we start, stay on the tops of our feet, up, stay here for a moment. Or maybe walk further in. And then up. In a forward fold. Hang here. Cross your elbows. Move from side to side. And then come down. In a comfy position. Hands together behind your back. Pull up, move from side to side, in front, like a round back, from side to side. And now I'm going to get myself something to drink and I'm going to go to the bathroom. So I'm going to play an art track because I won't be here, but you're not going to miss anything. I'll be right back to go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom too, get something to drink, or yeah, just wait, whatever. I'll be back in one or two minutes.
I am back, guys. I'm back. Put the mic back on. Put the mic back on. Have something to drink. It's always important to stay hydrated. So, let's come. Into a down dog, right? In a down dog, we try. I, I mean, I say that like so often, it feels so weird to like repeat it over and over again, but yeah, I always have to repeat it for the ones who just joined, right? So we come up here, we align the arms of our back, try to straighten the legs, and try to even bring those heels to the floor. But if we don't really get those heels to the floor, don't worry too much about it. The important thing is a straight back and the alignment of the arms just stay here for a moment if you feel like you're sliding out too much think about getting a better mat like a mat that's like stickier a sticky mat is really helping with these kind of poses now we're gonna do a pigeon pose so we lift one leg off and bring it to the front in between those two and if you're a beginner you might be somewhere up here which is totally fine you could even use yoga blocks to prop yourself up on if you're more flexible then your leg might be closer to the floor press those palms into the mat and look Such a nice stretch, huh? I do feel that in my quad, in the back quad. Also a little bit in the outer thigh, in the bum of the front leg. Now let's come down here onto that front leg. Up again. If you can. Grab the back leg with both hands, right? With one hand and then with the other. Without falling. Holding it for well, a little moment. Then let go. Press your hands into the mat again. Try to push back here. I have to stretch your lower back a little bit. Looking at our shoulders there. Intensifying that stretch. As in the mic. Hi Walter, welcome, good day. Now, tuck the back heel. Up again. Into the down dog. And let's stay here for a sec before we go down into the, onto the other side, right? Now lift one leg, the other leg, bring it to the front in between the hands. And if you're a beginner, you might be somewhere here. If you're more advanced, you might be further down. Hands on the mat here, holding that pose, feeling a nice stretch in your back squat and the outer thigh and the bum of the front leg. If you can, rest your chest down here for a moment. Then you come up again and you try to grab that back leg with both of your hands. One side might be way harder for me, this side is. Almost falling here, doesn't matter. There we go. Whee! And now hands into the mat, and again, as we do the other side, try to push up here to intensify the stretch of the hip, of the quad, and of the lower back.
Tack. Good. Foot. Hands down. Back. Into the down dog and now pedal it out. So we bring one heel to the floor while we lift the other one off the floor, bending the knee. Paddle, paddle, paddle. Ah, such a nice move. From here, let's come into forearm plank. Right, and from that forearm plank, we try to get into the dolphin pose. The dolphin pose is kind of like, it reminds me always on a down dog, but it's on your forearm, uh, on your forearms. And uh, yeah, apart from that, it's kind of, not, yeah, kind of similar to a down dog. Your back is straight, your upper arms are aligned with that back, pushing down on your shoulders. And yeah, if you have a mirror to look at yourself, it kind of can come in really handy to see if you're like in the right position. Holding that pose for a moment. And into the plank. And the dolphin. Maybe walk your feet in a bit as far as you can. Pushing away, pushing the mat away with your forearms. And then come down into child's pose. Put your hands at your sides or your arms at your sides here for the moment. Breathing in and out. In and out. Tabletop position. From here, a deep lunge, but uh, on your toes, right, or on your feet, like this. And then try to straighten the leg and bend it. Straighten the front leg and bend it. Yeah, and don't forget to leave your like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Now down onto the floor with your back knee as well. If you're not that open, don't worry about it. You get, uh, yeah, you're going to get there someday if you keep stretching regularly. Mm. Now turn to the side here, turn, 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 maybe, maybe if you can, bring these elbows or the forearms to the floor and try to turn further to get that back leg onto the floor. And we're twisting our hips open at that point, right? And maybe then you're all the way down, you're on the floor holding on to that other leg. Hold it. And up again. Back into the tabletop position. And we're going to do everything on the other side. So deep lunge here on the other side. Back leg off the floor. And then we extend. And bend the arms. Marty, welcome back. Not the arms, the leg, the front leg. We bend and extend the front leg here. No need to rush it. Take your time. Boop. And up. And down. And up. And now down. And down with that knee, pushing open, right, twisting to, to the side. And if you can, bring your forearms to the mat and try to get that back leg all the way to the mat.
stay down if you can and hold it for a moment. One side might be way easier than the other. This is totally normal, right? We always kind of like favor one side in our daily lives and that's why it's easier to stretch one side or we are stronger on one side. And yeah. Nevertheless, we have to train both of them to try to work against that favoring or to compensate for that. Up again. Tabletop position. And child pose. We're gonna do the side splits right away today, right? So that we can focus on other nice stuff after that. I'm gonna change the camera angle for that though. But let's first of all drink something. Mouth is so greedy when it comes to water. So, one second. Gonna adjust the camera angle here. And the, uh, the screen, so I can still reach you guys. How you doing? For this first exercise, oh, now that the screen is down, then I have to see like you're up there, but you're also down there, up there, and down there, up there, down there. Um, I'm going to put on my ballet slippers to slide out more easily. You don't have to do that though, right? Left and right. Oh, there the yawn. There is the yawn. Hi, Ben. Um, we're going to try to get into the splits. You might want to use, uh, you might want to use, um, yoga blocks to prop yourself up on, but you don't have to, right? You don't have to. I'm going to go without yoga blocks today, but yeah, you could have yoga blocks here. It would make it easier. And then sliding out. Oh, sliding out on the towel was easy. On um, the mat is not. Okay, then we're here. And we're just pulsing a little bit. Trying not to twist open too much. And other side. <coughs> Actually, let's switch mats. Let's switch mats. You know, I have a mat that I favor for doing these kind of things. And we're gonna grab it. Because, yeah. Because it's better. And if we have a better option at hand, why not use it? I mean, it's ugly. It's ugly and old. It's an ugly old yoga mat, but it's it's better for stretches, for stretching like that. The towel goes there for the moment. Okay, other side of the leg. 
half split and then we slide out and maybe this is your max and then you stay there or maybe you can slide out further Dancing a little bit. Dance, 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 dance. Boop. And down. Um, on the next one, we're just gonna record it for one minute because I feel like I'm not holding it long enough. I'm lazy with that. I got lazy with holding it longer. So this is this is how we do it, baby. This is why we, why we do it, not how, but why. So, Relo. Se a minutos pa o fin do mundo, toda sua vida en 60 segundos. Sorry, I don't know why that came up in my mind. Okay, first sight, one minute. I need new slippers. Or I could just be using uh, socks as well to slide out actually. 20 seconds. And we're pulsing. Not trying, not twisting too much. Right, 36 seconds. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 2. Ah! 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 Other side. I still have to play Fortnite this week, guys. Actually, I should. Oh, I'm thinking about maybe playing tonight a little bit. I don't know. To enjoy my gold rank as long as it lasts. Because I think the new season is starting on. It's starting on Saturday. So um, I'll be like. Then the, I have to rank. Then I have to get a new rank or something, I think. And then probably. I'm probably just going to get back into like Silver 2 or 1 or whatever. Dirt 1. Okay, other side. Sliding out. And let's pulse it. Bam, 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 bam. How are you feeling, guys? With this side split here. 20 seconds to go. Teeny tiny bounces. Bounce, 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 bounce. 10, 9, oh no. Okay, it's uh, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Once more, this time I'm going to put my my front foot onto the yoga block. So, it's, so it could be kind of an oversplit, although I'm not really good at that. But anyway, and then we're going to do the frog pose, guys, right? We all love the frog pose. We're going to be frogging. Frog, frog. But first of all, one more minute on each side here. So... Put yours up there. 
Start the timer and slide it out somehow. This is so hard, but oh, well. It's good that we feel something, right? If you feel something, we know we're advancing here. This is not easy stretching, this is advanced stretching right now. 40 seconds in, 20 to go. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah, 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 ouch. This is so hard. It's hard. It's hard. Oh well, doesn't matter. Other side, other side, and then the frog. Froggy frog, frog, and let's start. Ooh. Hold, hold, hold. 30 seconds in, 30 to go. Oh. So close to the end. And five. Four, three, two, one. Ah! Go away with the slippers. Go away with the yoga block. Let's drink something and let's grab a towel again. Be able to slide out better, right? Because now we're going to do the frog pose. In the frog pose, we're trying to create a straight line from knee to knee over our hips. We're trying to get all of this flat on the floor to prepare for the pancake and the middle splits. So, yeah, I'm going to put this towel down here to be able to slide out better because. The mat is kind of sticky. And yeah, this is also something you could be doing with knee pads. Up there. So now, legs wide. And move back and forth here, 90 degree angle at your knees. And maybe you stay really high up, which is no problem, right? The important thing is to stick uh, to doing those exercises on a regular basis. And then you're going to get further down. So back and forth here, back and forth. Wiggle a little bit and down if you can. Oh, Mousy, she's here and I can grab her hand. So beautiful. Ooh. And roll your bum up and your hips down a little bit, right? To open up further. Bum up, hips down. Here we go. Back and forth. 
Are you in your house? Yes, I am. Why? Oh. Bum up, sit down. Ah, wiggle. Stay here for a moment. Let gravity do its work. Da -dum -da -dum. So relaxing, right? I could stay in that pose for a very really long time, but then probably after a while I wouldn't get up no more. Just, uh, yeah, I don't, I have to be careful not to fall asleep, you know, I'm not gonna fall asleep, guys, don't worry. And yeah, this is my house, but this is my office and my, yeah, my office, my workout room. This is my bathroom. And the living room is over there and the kitchen. Over me, on top of me, there's the terrace of the roof, which we, like, uh, share with the other people who live in this house. But it's not much, it's just three apartments. Ah! Oh, so it's not so many people who have to share it, so it's really nice. The lazy room. Okay, guys, now you can stick with your pose. I'm gonna flip it around so you can see better what I'm doing because we're gonna do stuff with our legs now as well. pull in here oh no 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 this wasn't what I want intended to do so <sighs> we're gonna do the same thing the same thing basically that we just did right uh, but now we're not gonna get gonna get all <laughs> no don't worry about it we're not gonna get all the way down with our chest but we stay on our forearms here to move back and forth, right? Back and forth. To further open up those hips. Back and forth. Stay in the middle more or less and roll the bum up and the hips down. Hands to the floor. Wiggle a bit to get lower. <laughs> Stay here. Now bring those feet together. Right, the toes. And we do the same thing we did before. Moving back and forth, and kind of when you come to the front, think about rolling that bum up and the hips down, the bum, right? Just move with a forward move. And like that, you should be pressing those hips open. Come up onto your hands for a moment. You can hand back and forth. Make sure not to like hurt your knees. Your knees are hurting or something, maybe uh, don't do it. And back, back, stay here. I feel a pull in my inner thigh. Back down slowly. Open, legs wide out, wiggle a bit, back and forth. You should feel, you should actually be closer to the floor by now. I am. Uh, out, out, on the floor. Ciao Alex, nos vemos. Uh, un buen día para ti también. Gracias por estar, gracias por tu apoyo. Y sí, hasta luego. 
Roll the bum up and the hips down. Bum up, hips down. Wiggle. Let's stay here. Pull a little longer. In, in, and up. Ah. Shake it out, everything. Ah. And yeah, let's get rid of the towel for the moment. We don't need it right now. Back onto our back here. Arms long overhead, pressing that spine into the mat. Giving those inner thighs a little rest, right? Shake them a little bit. Bring your fingers together, pull them up here. Over your head, ah, uh, to one side and the other. Out to the side, hands to the floor again. And we get into the flow pose once more. So we roll up here, over, over, over. And if we can, we bring the heels to the floor. If we cannot, then don't worry too much about it. You could even like have your feet a bit apart here and then. Moving those hips from side to side again. From side to side, bending those knees. Slowly rolling back. your lower back well this is not so hard this is something everyone can do let's move up a little bit we're going to do a nice spine twist here so, uh, one leg straight, the other leg up towards the chest, more or less, and then we roll it over, and we can come off the mat with our with our with our uh, shoulder now, and we try to get that leg to the floor. Back to the middle, let's switch, switch sides. And over. Ah, so good. So good. Back to the middle. Come up. I don't take naps throughout the day. I hate that. I am um I do I eat usually after that I prepare my food, I eat something and then I work a little bit on the PC, cutting some videos, other stuff. 
um right because there's always a lot to do and then in the evening i like go um um go grocery shopping or i go swimming at the moment as well and then i go to bed at like 11 12 sometime around that and i read for half an hour an hour and then I so let's stretch the tops of our feet here we start with one side up Up. And this side. Woo. Up. Up. And up. What about both feet? I know it's hard, so don't do it if you're a beginner. Just do it if you're a pro when it comes to foot stretching. Now, come here. In a reverse, take a four stretch. Up. Right? Down. Up. Up. Build us away from ears. And thanks for your support, guys. Thank you for being here, for enjoying what I do enjoy. Up. Once more. Up. Hold it. Down. Ah, make a little ball here. Ah, hold your arms and round to the back, right? Make a round back now. Ah, it's so nice. Stretching through the back. Now, sit in a comfy position here. Grab either with the heel or the thigh or wherever you can. And extend and bend the leg. One, two, three. Keep it up there. Straight back. Move back and forth a little. Back and forth just a little. Ooh. Down, and the foot. You could grab the calf, you could grab the heel. One, two, three. Let's stay up there, hold it. And then move back and forth a little here. Back and forth. The next thing we're going to do is kind of similar. We're trying to move that leg out to the side. So again, you could be holding your thigh and move your leg out like this, right? Or maybe you can grab the heel and do it with your heel. One, two, three. And now hold it. Down, other side. One, two, three. On the next one, hold it. And down. And now we try to do both at a time. If this is too hard, I just do one side and then the other and one and the other. But if you can, one. Two, three, and on the next one, let's hold it. Four, five, four, three, two, one, pulsing out. Just a little bit longer. You can pulse, 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 and in. Oh. Now, hydrate. Hydration is key, guys. Okay. 
You have your water here. If you have a band, grab your band. Oops. I definitely have too much stuff in that cupboard, right? Man, you have water in there. It's water. Put the band around your back. Like that. And then around your feet. If you don't have a band, you could be using like a towel on each foot. Or you can do it without the band as well. And now open up here. Right? Like that. Pointing those feet. And now you're trying to lift the feet off the mat just really slightly. If you have a band, you could also help yourself like that or you just do it with your strength and you're probably just gonna lift them a few inches of the mat which is totally fine and yeah try to have a straight back so maybe you have to have your hands behind your back like this which is fine or you can have them in front up. Up. and this you feel it will feel that in your quad they really gotta work here up. Up. five four three Two, one. Now back in, we'll try to move back and forth here. Right, opening up a bit further. Um, yeah, you can have your hands again behind your back, pressing forward if you cannot come to the front with a straight back. But if you can come to the front with a straight back, even better. The band is helping you with that, right? You could be doing that without a band. Leading with your chest. Not with your head, rolling the bum up and the hip down. Roll, roll, roll. Maybe come down onto your elbows here, pointing, moving up. Stay down. If you can, Come closer to the floor with the chest. Up again. Putting the bum up and the hips down. Happy. It's really hot in here, Malky. You might want to leave. Outside, it's not as hot as it's in here. It's getting... No, it's already hot in here. So take a ball, you can roll. And roll. Let's get down again. Forearms first, if we can. And if you can, go further. Walk further out. Pointing those feet. <laughs> Opening up those hips. <sighs> ah. Up again. Let's get rid of that bend if you were using one. Be gentle with that, right? Don't hit yourself with a band. That has, has happened before to many people. Um, and now without the band, we open up again. Right, we open up, point your feet, and yes, I could, I could, and arms out there, 
at your lowest point. Maybe to the side if that fits better for you. Wherever you are, it's perfect. Stay here. Oh, it feels so good, right? Uh. Anna, you don't think it's so hard to use it right now? From side to side a little bit here. Let's prop ourselves up on our hands, right? Trying to open up further. And bounce. That's so, well, here it's, I think here it's like 35 degrees. Well, in here it's probably hotter. Hold it. Almost, and it looks like a split, right? It's not. It's not, though, but it almost looks like one. Second. Woo! Ah! Oh, that was really hard. <laughs> Let's move those legs from side to side. Ooh. Ah. And now, if you have the ball, a big, a big exercise ball, get it because I'm gonna get mine. If you don't have one. Well, uh, then, yeah, you won't get it, probably. <laughs> Here we go. Here we have the ball. And the first thing we do is we come onto the ball with our hips. Right? Then we're kind of in a... Not in a playing position, right? But our, our bum or hips are on the ball and we roll back and forth a little bit to give our lower back kind of a massage here with the ball. And if you want to, you could even come onto your forearms here. I think right now outside here it's hotter than inside if you're in the sun. If you're in the shade, maybe not, but in the sun for sure. But yeah, in here it's pretty hot as well. Now like bounce a little bit, a little bit with the ball to let go of all the tension in your lower back. Uh, make sure though that your lower back is like right on, on the ball and that you're not like arching your back or anything. It's up there supported by the ball and you feel like those bounces are Releasing all the tension up on your hands again, same thing here. Releasing all the tension. Whew. Tennis ball and baby football. Well, okay, well, then this is not working, probably. Back. Now we can stretch our backs a little bit. By rolling further to the front, right? Further to the front. Crossing our legs and then we're here. And we move a little, but just very, very gently because we don't want to turn our back. And move back and forth. Oh. Hi Billy. I cannot read your I cannot read what you wrote, sorry. You might want to write in English, German or Spanish so I can understand. Back and forth. Open those legs again. Roll all the way back again. Ah. 
now let's uh, give our backs the kind of massage as well so we come onto the ball with our backs here right and this is something you could do on a small football as well maybe depending on how small it is and then let your arms hang here to the side and you same thing that before you kind of bounce here to let go of all the tension Back and forth. Nice and gentle. This is just really relaxing, right? No more hard stretches here. This is just pure relaxation. Pure letting go, stretching down, releasing. Maybe bring your hands together. Grab one wrist with the other hand so that you're Oh, then you get a different stretch in your back and your shoulders. Una princesa con un Ah, esa, esa, a esa historia, ¿no? De la, de la princesa que está durmiendo encima de muchos colchones y hay un guisante por debajo y ella sigue sintiéndolo. Let's stay here with straight leg. And back. Yeah. Whee. Let's stretch our shoulders. Right, very close to the end, guys. Hands on the ball, and then if you you could do a puppy pose instead, but if not, if you don't, if you have the ball, hands on the ball, and then bouncing here a little bit to stretch the shoulders. It's a huge pee though, right? My ball is a huge pee, giant pee. The little princess of a giant pee. And up, sideways. Right, sideways. Ah, stretching my side body here. Oh. Ah, the side. Whee. He on steroids, yeah. Ah, yes, it is. It is. It is. So, we could get our legs wide here as well. Being on the ball. No, we're done. We're done with the ball. We're almost done with everything. We're going to do a few more shoulder stretches and then we're done. So, uh, Tabletop position here, right? Tabletop position. And then we reach through with that arm. Shoulder goes down here, stretching, twisting our back, stretching the shoulder. We could even like intensify that we lift that arm. No, yeah, no, wait. We lift that leg, I think. Grab it with the other arm. No! Okay, don't do that. Don't do that, guys. <laughs> I forgot how to do that. Look it up again. Other side, let's do the other side without that part. Ah, uh, so on the other side, we're not going to do any hard stretches no more. This is just a hard stretch where we have to keep our balance. Up again. Up again. Roll your shoulders back to the front. 
down, look from left, right, and ears to shoulders, not shoulders to ears, one hand down, another side body stretch here, Woo, other side, And that was it for today, right? This was a nice uh, workout session on Wednesday, focused on legs and up. We did go work, we did good stretches. And yeah, I see you on Friday. I think on Friday I'm going to start at about 12.30 and we're going to be streaming, um, well, depending on your time zone, you will not know what time that is. I'm going to post it tomorrow, but it's like usually the stream on Friday starts a little bit later than the usual stream and it's a little bit shorter. So, well, see you on Friday or maybe tomorrow uh, on Twitch for ARC in the morning. Uh, thank you so much. Muchísimas gracias a todo el mundo. Thank you for your support, for the subs, for the likes. Check out my other content. Uh, have a great day and see you. See you soon. Bye bye. Dun, 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 dun.